What's well, been percolating a feud between the chief of police and the president of the firefighters union escalated yesterday with a threat of criminal charges. Today, union president Mike Nevin is responding to Chief James Craig's comments that he could be charged with interfering with an investigation. Jason Colthorpe has been following this today. And Jason, uh, this is still an ongoing investigation. Yeah, as a matter of fact, it, uh, internal affairs even wanted to read Nevin his Miranda rights this week and question him in this investigation. He and his attorney declined. Today they spoke openly though about why he thinks this investigation is simply payback. We cannot get to where we need to be expeditiously to serve the public. And I call bull A familiar and blunt refrain from Detroit Fire Union President Mike Nevin. For months he's been shouting about the understaffing of police, fire and EMS and last week hit a nerve by calling out police for a slow response time to a homicide that left firefighters in harm's way. Scout is en route into 34. They were unable to provide the ETA after multiple attempts. Nevin says the city is lying about its crime statistics, reclassifying them in different categories to make the city seem less dangerous. I am not going to lollygag along and play footsies with an administration to uh, create a false narrative that everything is fine and dandy in the city of Detroit when it is not. They're trying to silence him. That's what they're trying to do. But it's a now deleted Facebook post that Police Chief James Craig says is the real reason for the investigation into Nevin. To not only undermine a criminal investigation, in this instance, homicide, but it also can and does put a witness uh, to a homicide in harm's way. Nevin says even jail won't shut him up. When you call 911 in any place in the world, what do you expect? A response. And we're not getting there. Police, fire, or EMS can't get there in time. There's just not enough of us. That is inhuman. Now that Facebook post in question, by the way, included identities of two witnesses. When the investigation concludes, the findings will be presented to the prosecutor. But as I say, Nevin says he's willing to go to jail for this. Now, obviously, we would all love more first responders, but let me just play devil's advocate here. Can the city afford to pay for it? I mean, that's a good question. Uh, Nevin would say if it can't, uh, Mayor Duggan needs to go to Lansing and ask lawmakers for more money in that situation. And if there isn't any, we don't need bike lanes, public funded oh. graffiti art, his words, not mine, and some of the other uh, amenities that you've seen Same pop up around here in, around in favor yeah. of first responders. Sure. Okay, yeah. thanks Jason. Thank